Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yes, that happened. Yeah, so sorry about the mess. I, w I was on Twitch and should have been recording here when I did that whole blow up and stuff. Yep, so yeah, what did I say? Oh yeah, that happened. So it's time for again on the Crash Landing series, we're going to start from scratch. Lord Crudhead. A new beginning, sure. Yeah. So yeah, here we go from scratch, a brand new world. Maybe this time I can give good examples on how to set it up in this this <laughs> No, I'm not gonna turn off griefing. I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen because wow, how boring would I be? Yeah, you wanna watch the boring stuff where I just sit there and have a one sided conversation? Well, not like this isn't one sided, but you know what I mean. The other one sided conversation is interesting because the uh uh, on Twitch TV, you can type messages to me, and and I can respond, you know, but I, I respond by talking to people. Oh, right, we got to take the ones out of the back here, too. Then we got to get started on our quest so we can get our camel pack. Yeah, that's in the wrong place. Every second counts on this first day. Most definitely. Grab the wrench. It hit the... No. Open. Throw that in there. Grab the food. Get stuff set up as quick as we can here. Grab these two first. Then start your quest book. Yes, click here to start. Look at that. We already have one quest done. Bam. Bam. Just like that. Claim reward. Now we have our pack. Um, we got to go get us some sand and dirt and stuff. Yeah, we'll worry about zombie flesh later. So, oh, we can't take that out yet. All right, we're just going to throw this stuff down because we don't want it right now. Cold water packs? Really? Where's the other one? There it is. We don't need them. You get this on our back, get it all filled up. I did say filled up, didn't I? All right, then those others we can do some. Yeah, I know the skin server thing's not working right. So we need to make a barricade around us, or a uh, a dig a giant trench. Yeah, we got to get that thing covered up. Okay. Howdy's going for a walk. Everybody say see you later. Bye. Be back in a bit. Mwah. Yeah, I didn't bring enough sand with me. I know. But we totally got to get those in there. Huh. Yeah, we, we're not doing this. Not doing this well at all. Good enough. I mean, we're not... We didn't, like, die already or anything. But as long as we have this stuff covered up where it's not making any more fires. Oh, yeah, that's all covered. We'll stick one down there, too. Where it's not generating any more fire, we can uh, totally survive this stuff. Is that the right road? Yeah. Yeah. One deep will make them stumble. Two deep will stop most of them. It won't stop all of them. And definitely not going to stop the spiders. But that's okay. We got to keep these creepers away from the freaking house. Those guys get inside and they just make a mess. I mean, talk about crashing a party. Wow. Yeah, that's far enough away. Yeah, those guys just crash the party and destroy everything. Um, I, I've watched some other people or listened to some other people when they play. And they say, this trench, that you need to actually make it four deep. And that will actually keep out the, uh, 
the ones they call giants. Yeah, they're, uh, so if we can get this set up right, yeah, the giant ones that apparently if they see you and you start attacking them, they'll, they'll take, like if it's a giant zombie, they'll take and throw other zombies at you, which is really quite interesting that they can do that, but. Yeah, we're not going out near as far, but we're going to try and actually, I mean, this is far enough. We start out with the one deep, see if we can trip them up, and hopefully we're going to have enough daylight that we can go uh, too deep. And yes, this is on the full-blown latest release. You know, we're, we still have a fire over there to deal with. Um, but yeah, full, latest release, full blown, exactly the way it was released by the mod creator. So, this is not going to be, oh, I turned off griefing so that the, uh, the boomers can't blow up the walls or or turn down the mods so it's only the vanilla mods and not these extra crazy mobs that like to kill us. But yeah, once we get this all dug out, then we'll go back inside. You know, it'll probably be getting close to dark. Actually, we'll probably just keep digging until it's dark. Then we'll go back inside and go back to the quest books. But we want to get us a clean start this time. If you remember the last start, it was not so clean. We got stuck inside our, air, our crashed airplane. Couldn't get out. Couldn't, you know, just to go out and dig up some dust. Plant trees outside. We had to dig a big hole underneath the airplane and, and put stuff under there and plant trees and then we, we tried to expand it of course we ended up uh, expanding it a little too far too fast and it just didn't work well at all I'm hoping to get the two deep done before it gets dark the two deep will keep out almost all the mobs not the spiders but it will keep out the whole slew of creepers that like to blow stuff up and zombies and skeletons will get stuck in here and they'll die the the giant ones like I said apparently the giant ones can get out of a too high hole but but then we're still only dealing with one of the giants or two of the giants and not 50 creepers all trying to get to us at the same time can't fight them off very well. I, I really want to make a good strong go of this one. I just, you know, I mean this series is all about crash landing. Playing crash landing. How are things going, you know. And apparently it's turned into a uh, how to make good and bad starts out of crash landing ways to uh, get along and I know it's really quiet let's check that audio yeah options oh of course that's why back to the game yeah now you can hear the game sounds again of course as soon as nighttime comes we'll probably have to turn it down if it gets too loud Yeah, I know, it's so exciting. We're starting a whole new world. And hopefully starting it out right this time. Where we can manage those creepers. Make them, make them stop. And go away. Yeah, so any of you that watch uh, Twitch TV, that, that like to log in there and just 
just hang out while you're playing or just to get on and chat with me. If you can chat with me live that way. Um, you go to your Twitch TV and then you search for Lord Cronad as, as one word. L-O-R-D C-R-A-W-D-A-D -D. Um, Apparently they didn't want me to break it into two words. They just wanted it to be one word. So that's what it is. Yeah, but you search for that and you'll find me on there Oh, all kinds of hours. Weekends. Depends on what's going on. I mean, if I'm going to a concert or doing a photo shoot or something, then then I won't be on. But anymore, it seems like if I'm home, I'm I'm playing the game. Or uh, I want to get a couple of new series started up. I don't know if y'all catch caught that comment. I'm gonna make one with uh, my friend Hardine when he gets back. He's currently in the military. It has been for years. I spent 10 years in the military myself. But. So when he gets back and gets settled back into routine, back in the home life, we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna make a uh, what do they call it? It's a uh, kind kind of an adventure mini game series. He he had a his server going. He had it going pretty good, pretty strong, with the, uh, yeah, we gotta get out of here, we're not gonna be able to make this three. That's close enough, let's not suicide on the first night. So we got our two deep anyway. We gotta put that fire out. Oh, baby zombie already. Oh, oh, stop it. Uh, I know, we have no weapons, right? Oh! Wow! So... So, right. Too deep, and then run back to the house. Got it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That was not what we planned on doing. Wow. Okay, let's, let's get... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to do it in our single player. We're not going on the server. Oh, honey, did you die again? Yeah, I died again. Wow, sorry. So, yeah, 13 minutes in and... Pfft. Really? Really, dude? You can't even last 13 minutes in this game? We're, we're going to start it like we just did a second ago. Wow. Yep, we should have, just like I said, as soon as it started getting dark, should have just, boom, okay, we're out of here. Run. Run like hell. Stay alive. Don't die. We gotta get our water pack. Okay. Uh, quest book. Open the quest book. Start the quest. Basic. Yes. Yes. Claim reward. Cold water packs. In there. Real camel pack. On our back. One more bottle in there. Boom. And we're going to go out this far. Yeah, don't worry. When we get over by by the uh, the wing that apparently survived. One of the wings survived, and that's what we're seeing, all the uh, jet fuel leaking out all over the place. So we got to get over there and, uh, and secure that jet fuel. 
We want it for later, but we don't have a bucket to pick it up with. I think we want it for later. I don't know. Maybe we don't. I'm going to try and make this go as quickly and as painless as possible. But yeah, I guess that's what this series is all about. How, how did how did die in crash landing? Should rename it. What not to do when playing crash landing? Because we seem to be collecting lots of examples. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! That was fun, though, huh? Yeah, these. Uh, how could you want to turn those mobs off? I mean, unless you actually want to accomplish something in this game, you know. But that's that's what my I played on the server, that uh, Mind Your Mind server. That's why I play on that one, because they've got all the, uh, like the griefing and the uh, advanced mobs, and they've got all that turned off, so stuff doesn't die and blow up on us. And, yep, while we're here, we'll... Uh, wrong, wrong... Thank you. So cover these nine right here with the stripes. Then you lean out over the edge. Get two blocks in this one. Get a block in here. And then apparently you need like a few blocks in front. Maybe block that up down there, I think it was. And we'll check on that when we get back. Uh, back to the line. Back to the line. How far are we going with this? Right to here. Is that? Oh, that's outside the line. There we go. That's where we will turn the corner. But yeah, you get that fuel turned up, turned off, blocked off, so it doesn't uh, doesn't create those wildfires like that. The uh, the creepers get in that. And some of these creepers get bigger than others. And what they do is they, they get caught on fire, they die, they explode. They don't just die. They blow up on you. Well, and when they blow up, as you notice, they, they tend to blow a little bit of a hole in the ground. So you... And when they blow a hole in the ground, more of that fuel gets out. And it leaks out and spills all over the place and fills that hole up. Well, and the creepers being creepers, of course, they wander around and they fall back in there. You get more creepers in there. And then they blow up. You know? And before you know it, you've got this giant hole leaking in, you know, because it gets spread out and gets up underneath your your airplane where you're trying to uh, survive. You know, to make your new home here. Because, face it, I haven't seen anybody come to rescue us in all the episodes we've played, there's never been the, uh, the Marines coming to save us. And, you know, Coast Guard come out looking for us. I haven't seen any of that. So, yeah, we are definitely on our own. There's a city around here somewhere. And we'll go visit that later. But wow, it's uh It is a challenge. Oh, and if you noticed, apparently the uh the little oh a cute picture. Heidi just showed me a picture of our grandson. Oh, he's so cute. <sighs> totally ruined my train of thought, but y'all are used to that by now. Squirrel! Uh, what? Uh, what? Yeah. Exactly. Wow, this is going to sound horrible. I totally forgot what I was talking about. Good job, honey. Good job. <laughs> honey said sorry. And I know that just makes y'all laugh even more.
from the other side. Oh, I was talking about the uh, the different mobs, mobs that are in here. The fact that the the little the, the baby mob, I don't know what you call them, babies or what you call them. The little short guys that uh, these one wide gaps because they're walking so fast just like you if you're running you can run right over a one wide gap you don't have to jump or anything you just run right over it well they see you and come running after you they do the same thing they just run right over the top of it yeah kind of like grandkids they just run wild and try to give them directions but you know they're babies, what do you expect? They're not gonna listen. Little toddlers, ankle biters. <laughs> the grandkids, not the moms. <laughs> the grandkids, not the moms, yeah. You heard her in the background. Alright, well we're still just gonna go. There. Where's the sun? Sun's getting ready to set. So we'll, we'll get our barricades set up here. Yeah, I do like the glass because I can see. Oh, we should get this clay while we have a chance. Apparently we don't have a chance to get it. What is going on here? Come on, really? You gotta stop pushing me around I can jump out now. And get in that corner. The water's just being brutal. Alright, looks like we got all the clay. Yeah, we don't care. Uh, whatever. Um, no, not that. We wanna look at the other. So we got that blocked off. I don't know, maybe we should go back underground again. Okay. Yeah, aqueous accumulator. This stuff we don't want in here. because We're going to end up using our sifting table over here. So Throw the cold water in there grab the food. Now, now we can start doing our little housekeeping and setting things up the way we want them to be. Because obviously these planes, these airplanes are just so small. Yeah, we need some power. We'll do a little sifting. Oh, where are we going to put this thing? Um, we'll put it right there. Oh, I don't have anything to throw in there yet. Keep keep our health up. All right, we're we're gonna yes, you're right. We if we go back and do these quests, if you do them in a, a respectable order, got to go the easy route so we get all these goodies, the peanut butter and jellies, our trees, the shell constructor, very important. There we go. Turn that one in. And now we should have one of all of these. Yep. Now we get our dirt. With that. Backed up too far. With that dirt in an empty bottle, we make our dirty water. Then we turn this question right here. Drinking mud. Boom. Dirty water. That's what we needed. Then the next one, water bottle. Well, of course, we just got a water bottle. So we can turn that in, get more empties, get another cold water bottle. This one wants us to make, okay, we don't have any stone or sticks yet. 
Don't have any bones. We'll go out and collect that stuff later. This one wants us to give them a, a freaking thousand water. E each of these hold a thousand, I think. This wants us to uh, throw some salt. We don't have any yet. Gives us more zombie flesh. But you got to finish that whole quest. This one wants us to go to a couple locations. That's 634 meters away. We're not going there right now. We'll, we'll do that later. Um, it's important things about the shell constructor. Yes, it is very important that you set up your shell constructor. Unless, like me, you... Uh, you you let the top... That always hurts. But they got to take a sample of us. And now, as you see, because we... Uh, Turn on the power. See the left side there on the gear. This is to the left. And there you see. Now it's starting to build. It's going to build a clone of us. So if we die, we can walk out of this clone box machine right here. Um, and yeah, we totally set that up wrong. But that's okay. Um, we still got a couple of them. See, there's a skelly that made it inside the perimeter. But most of them are going to get stuck on the outside. See, they, they hit that, then they jump up. and But it, it'll keep them to the outside. It will keep us safe. What, what I want to do right now is take this dirt and this birch sapling and go plant a tree. How cool is that? We get to plant trees and make them grow. Yeah, I'm looking for the cold water bottle. Oh, those are fine to carry around. Oh, and the other thing. Um, don't put up too many torches in your house. Torches put off heat to players. That's part of why some people overheat in this game. They've actually uh, they got torches over everywhere and they don't get it. I don't get it. I was like, why? Why am I burning? Yep, the clay we want for later. I keep looking for chests to put things in. Let's stick this gun down here. Oh, yeah, we want to let this start charging up. And again, with the gears, turn them all off. It's just, just turn them off. Okay. Then you don't accidentally put one machine beside it and send water or whatever the wrong direction. See how it's keeping them all back away from us? That is a good thing. I know it looks like there's a lot of them, but they're back. Okay, there's there's an infected zombie over there, but most of them are back out of the way. Then we get a chance after we get some trees going, we'll get a few torches out here in our our perimeter that we drew for ourselves. And that'll help keep things simple and safe. Oh, I w yeah, there we go. So, you can set your mouse keys. I, I've got my hands right here. I'm, you know, not even touching the game or the computer. But you can set your mouse keys. Um, I, I'd love to demonstrate how to do it for you, but every time I try to make a demo of it, it doesn't work right. So what I've done is I've turned my number pad into a mouse emulator. You do that through your control panel, um, easy access, mouse settings. There's a check mark to turn on um, to, to make the number pad act as a mouse pad or a a, uh, a mouse it's really slow to move it around you like the, the whole left right up down uh, but that's not what we wanted to use it for the numbers you do that with what we do is it also gives you a a click on click off or click on no click off so what I did is I programmed the zero button to be my right click so all I had to do decide what I wanted to right click on hit the zero button and that's it we're done we could walk away we can do whatever because 
The computer's doing us doing it for us. It's much better than well what Heidi does uh, because of her mouse and the setup on her desk. She actually takes a a jar of mayonnaise. Not not the one we're using, but the one from the pantry that's just sitting on the shelf. A fresh, brand new jar of mayonnaise. And she sets it on her mouse and her desk and everything, just so that it, that it presses and holds the button without pushing the mouse away. So that's how she does it. Um, I've got my little... Someday I'm going to get a camera and I can show you. You can see what I'm holding up here. But it's a, there's a salt and pepper sh set that I got as a gift for my birthday. Um, one of them's a Dalek. That would be the, the pepper is the Dalek. The black Dalek with his little arms and stuff. Kind of cute. And then there's a TARDIS is the salt shaker. This beautiful blue box TARDIS. Got the little sign on the front of it and everything. Really cute. But I used to remap one of my keys and then I'd take the remote for the TV so it lifted the other side up a little higher than the keyboard and I'd set it on the uh, the control button. I'd remap the control button to be the right click. And, and so I'd set it there and then set the TARDIS on it so it would hold down my right or hold down the control button which I went into the options and remapped as my how I right click on something which is great until you want to stop you know you take that off and then you go to open a chest the right clicking on your mouse isn't working because there's only single keys they're not dual key mapping so I have to take that off and go back in and remap to make my mouse function again okay so as you see, I uh, I forgot to unclick. Got to get some of this stuff out of the inventory here. I think we're doing okay. And then, boom! I just hit the zero. We're, we're back sifting again. Uh, I was afraid that stuff was going to despawn or had despawned, but that's not what happened. We sifted through enough that we of the dust that we opened up another hole in our inventory. So we had an empty slot in our inventory, and we picked that up. So. We're good. And see, now I'm going to walk away. And I, I got to go get something to drink. My throat's getting a little dry here. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mountain Dew's not very far away, is it? It just wasn't in within arm's reach. It's um, it's something I recommend for most people that play obsessive online gaming. That's what they should call it, not multiplayer or anything else. Obsessive online gaming. Okay, O O G. You heard it here first. You heard it from Lord Crowd at first. We got recorded video evidence of it. Um, yeah. So a little O O G. Since you're playing so much online all the time, for for those of you evil people that smoke, okay, you can have an ashtray on your desk, but put the cigarettes too far away that you can't reach them, okay? Where you actually have to get up out of the chair, walk over and grab the cigarettes, and come back. First thing that'll happen is you'll find out you're smoking a lot less, because you'll think about a cigarette, but you can't reach them. So, so you'll forget about it for a, a few more minutes. Maybe even a half an hour or an hour sometimes. And as you get used to it, you'll forget about it more and more. And so you'll go an hour or two without having a cigarette instead of sitting there every 15 minutes lighting another one and letting it burn away in your ashtray. Smoking up your monitor, smoking up your desk, your poor computer. Do the same thing with your uh, your snack and your drinks. Put them further than arms reach away. So you actually have to get up out of the chair, go take a drink, grab some bite, handful of chips or whatever you're doing, and then come back. You get less trash on your desk 
less chance of spilling something on your keyboard or computer. Lord help us if you're playing on a laptop and spill something on that. But yeah, you put that stuff far enough away, and then you don't have to worry about it. You, uh, you know, you, you you actually get yourself up out of the chair and moving every every couple of hours or so, or at least every hour. Oh yeah, still more stuff to sift. If you look on the mini map, you notice we just have creepers in the trench, a couple spiders overhead. And then that big white thing, that's a gas. Gasp, gas. I don't know. Those things that moan and whine all the time in the nether. And they fly, so yeah, trenches aren't going to stop them. But they'll despawn. See, like that. Now he's gone. He went away. He won't bother us anymore. So we can actually take and and, and make a little, little hole in the... Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Whoop. Wrong button. I'll clear out this inventory. Oh, not the bone meal. We'll keep some of that. We don't need that with us right now. Or that. Ooh, look at that. We're already... Whoa, that's awesome. Bullets we need. Nope, nope, nope. We have our iron we want to hang on to. That we want to hang on to. So we got our tree that we want to plant. Get out of there, there. Put the tree in there. I'm going to throw the dust over here for now and the other stuff that we don't have a use for right at this point. Oh, look at that. We're getting... Oh, oh water, water, water. We totally got to get that tree going. We got our bone meal. We got us some food, too. We're good. We're good. We keep this one cold water on us at all times. That's just a thing. So, yeah, we... You punch a hole here, and the spiders will wander over, but they can't get down inside you. So now that we're so ill-equipped to to battle things, come on. They'll just stand right over that hole. and you, Even though, yeah, you see all that. All right, we're shooting him. Got to load our bullets. Can't walk out with a gun without loading the bullets. Come on, come on. He's a, look at a tough. Yeah, I just say he's a tough one. Well, yeah, he sure is. They even called him a tough spot. Get up here. Get up here and die. Come on, tough guy. What are you doing? We're gonna go through a lot of bullets just on this one guy only. We'll probably go through a whole magazine. Each magazine holds 12 bullets. So, hey, right in the head. Headshot. Boom, another headshot. Wasted bullet. Give me that. Oh, don't, don't waste these bullets. They're pretty precious to start off with. Well, you know, try not to. Oh, come on, really? Wow. This guy's just unbelievable. Is he, like, healing or something? All right, there's one more spider running around. He's over there. See now this temperature, this heat's getting to us. We we did put our we didn't put our pack back on our back. No wonder. No wonder why the heat's getting to us. So yeah, right out the front door. Make our, our spot for our tree. Keep an eye out for any, uh, you know, those evil doers. Okay. Punch, tree, get, wood. Yay, we got a piece of wood. No, we don't want to do that. We want to, there we go. So, first thing we do, we take this piece of wood. Planks. Planks become sticks. Sticks become crooks. Yes, we make two. 
Uh, I went over this before, how it seemed like every time if I made one, it, I would burn through the whole thing and never get that silly warning. I'd never get a warning. If I made two, usually before the first one's half gone, I already have a worm in my own game. I didn't see one drop yet, but... And I think it gives you a better drop on the, uh, the saplings as well. See, there's a couple of saplings right there just waiting for us. And see, we can do this all in the nice... What am I looking to do? Get that out of there, saplings on the... Okay. Um, any more bits laying around? No. More tree. Grow tree. Come on, tree. And again with the cook. We, we need that worm for the quest. That's, we, need, we need zombie flesh too. We should probably look into that a little bit. But with those those two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches they gave us, we can left a whole nother day without worrying about other food. Yeah, our biggest concern is, is water right now. We needed we needed enough wood to make some tools. Again, remember never wear your tools out completely and you can mix them back up. Always close the door even if it's just for a second. And the skin server's down. Ah. But yeah, look at us. So so as long as we keep our home fires safe, keep one. Boom. You remember what we're doing. It's Tinker's Construct time. But we're not going to make all of these into sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will give us eight of these. I think that's close to what we need. Gives us our parts builder. This one gives us our tool station. And this one gives us our stencil table. Oh, stencil table set down there. And then we have five left to make tools with. Yep, that's right. I like these to be nice and short. Put them on the ground. Oh yeah, and we have enough left over to make a chest. And maybe... No, what am I doing? Y'all need to help me out here. It's such a one-sided conversation. Jeez. How am I ever going to survive this? Stencil, build a part, tool station. So there's our stencils. So tool rod, that's for the handle. Um, yeah, we, we want to make a pick. And we're going to make everything out of bone meal. Uh, our shovel head and our axe head for making our mattocks. And then we just need these small cross. There it is. That small pattern. So we put them in here. And we put our bone meal over here. Two handles because we're making two different tools. That's the pick. That's for the mattocks, half the mattocks. The other half of the Maddox and the, well, whatever. Leave the handle in there. We got more we'll make later. Okay, take our bone meal back. See, it's starting to get dark out before you know, before you know it. It's dark out there. Oh. So we switch over here. We click on the pickaxe up here, and it shows us where to put the parts. It, it tells you, you know, pickaxe head, tool binding, that's what that is. The tool binding and the handle, those are the the rods, you know. And they have pictures. So we have that. And then the mattock was the other thing we wanted to make. Although I'm not sure why. Oh right. Because that's our weapon of choice. That's why we want to make it. 
this guy gets a plus six. When we hit somebody, oh shh, we never covered that hole in the ceiling. Wow, miniatures could have got in. See, because we don't have enough light out there. Yeah, that those little, those little, yeah, those guys right there. Yeah, check out this cheap, this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Check out what this does. Boom, we're almost full. Grab another one of this beef jerky, and boom, we are full of it. We have saturation going. That's the yellow outline you see there. The saturation has to go all the way down first before we start actually losing food again. We are out of water. It's it's getting real now. We have to make our furnace. Luckily, that's not a freaking furnace. What are you thinking? Luckily, we uh, we can do that. We had enough stone. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to burn in the furnace because we didn't have enough time out playing with the trees. Um, the dust, we need to turn that into uh, blocks to be efficient. So that'll make two sets of shears. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. As long as we get two pieces of iron, we can go shear that tree as soon as the sun comes out. Maybe we'll get all four of them. So yeah, top left, bottom right. <laughs> I did it backwards. And we won't say what kind of backwards that was. But if that goes, oh yeah, that's plenty of fire. Good, good, good. So we actually have for a second set of shears. Um, we've got this cold water on us. Yeah, right, we put it over here. So, we're, we're going to just keep these right here with us. Oh, yeah, we got the book about the uh, materials in you. This is all about the uh, that tinker's construct. Show you the tools, the modifications. It tells you which parts to actually use to make the tools. If you haven't used that mod yet, this book, read it. It's very helpful. Um, different tools do different things. Then it gets into the advanced tools, the sickles and battle axe and cleaver. I like the cleaver for a weapon anyway. Um, you can make arrows, killer arrows that just have huge damage potential. And of course, from a range, so that's always good. You make a short bow instead of the, uh, the standard bow. Um, then it tells you what each different material gives you different benefits. And then it shows you how to make the cactus or the the slimy mud and then you cook the slimy mud and you get whatever that slime crystals for same thing with paper and how to make a stack of paper you can make paper tool rods and it lets you add modifiers um, I've seen a lot of guys who will make the 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 main part of the tool out of um, either stone or something something on the fairly simple side of things nothing too elaborate material and make the whole rest of the thing out of out of paper they, you know the bindings the handles they make all that out of paper so it gives them all those extra modifiers wow there's just so many of them running around out there yeah they're uh, and there's miniature spiders, baby spiders, that can fit through that one wide hole. You're not supposed to be there. The more you run, jump, especially jumping, will cost you in terms of uh, your, your food bar down there. 
Yeah, we're gonna hang on to. Oh, I guess we could do some expansion. That, that always works out well in every episode, right? Every time I try opening up a little bit, I'm not even gonna go up there. That top one, because that might be a hole to the ceiling. Oh, we're not even going to go upstairs level at all. Oh, I moved, and then of course it has to start over. Daytime? Let's see, this one doesn't need to be here either. It does nothing for us. Um, I don't remember if that left a hole in or not, so we know we can take out the floor. Because that's where we like to put our garden. Actually, causing more grief for myself. Get me these half plans. We'll use this chest back here again. We gotta have a place to put things that that don't stack well or are taking up space. Oh look, it's starting to the sun's starting to come up. It's starting to get daylight. Yay! Yeah, again, it's the whole. I just hit that button, and boom, we're. Uh, we're sifting away, don't have to hold on to anything. Get that sun to come out and start cooking them guys. Boy, they look big when we're down here, don't they? Yeah, when, when all the skeletons and all the zombies are gone off the screen, then we gotta venture out. Because we gotta get more wood. We got our shears now so we can shear the leaves off. So that's a good thing, right? Yeah, yeah that's good. We're coming up on the uh, the mark though where we're gonna have to uh, to end it. But being today, today's gonna be a special day. We're going to uh, we're gonna make repeat episodes. Yes we are. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll cut this one off so it's got a reasonable timeline thing going on. And then we'll, uh, yeah, but not yet. Not yet. We're, we're waiting for all these zombies to die. Wow, what in the world? They start blinking out, you know. Uh, that mini-map does wonders. We can even zoom in. See, there's our line. You can see our line in the sand now. And everybody's stuck outside the line, so. Empty our bags. Hey, fishy, fishy. Nope, nope, yep, 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 yep. Okay, these are things that we use all the time. This later, oh yeah, we're going to use that definitely later. Fuel for the, uh, the fish, yeah, we're going to eat them. The stone is for putting right here where I'm standing. So I have a place to walk. So I'm not jumping anymore. Um, this level out here, if you don't know, 
is all going to go down one, so. So we get our tool handy, and boom. We can do some quick, quick housekeeping on these guys. See how much faster they die? Using this magic. Now we could go play with those guys, because we do need some of the zombie flesh, but more importantly, more than food, and that's where these shoes just save us to no end. See all those? Grab that. Yeah, we gotta fix that stuff back up. And this guy, we throw them in there. Click the button. That's gonna fill up. That's gonna give us five. What is it? Five and a half? Yeah, they'll give us like five and a half bottles of water. So that's cool. And this does work to chop down trees as well. So we're just on a mission. For, where's my set? There we go. There's our saplings. And I put them in the wrong spot. There we go. Right now we're on a mission for leaves. We want to get so many of these leaves that it's just ridiculous. Of course, it'll also give us a bunch of saplings. See that? We're already getting thirsty. Oh, we're getting way thirsty. Cold water bottle. Wow, I didn't realize we were getting that close. We, we almost died. Okay, there we go. Get those numbers back up. Um, it won't let me get the other leaves. But we can jump and get them. Yeah. Oh, now we're sweating? We're just drank a... Yeah, if you get lost on, on what to do, where to go next, grab your quest book, take a look. See what it says. What's next on your list? What's the easiest thing for you to do? Yeah, I would love a, a couple pieces of zombie flesh, because that's so in our quest thing right now. I think we're going to do it. There's still time left in this episode. And like, there's only one creeper over here. wonder if there's still zombie flesh laying down here. You see any down there? I think that stuff's all despawned. Well, we got stuff up on top here, too. Apparently they're... Oh, look at that. See that? We're just too slow. And we missed out. It was probably all just sitting there waiting for us. Where's the sun? Straight overhead. That's right. Whoa, really? That tree sure took a lot. Oh, it, it it decided it wanted to grow after. All right. Put the new shears down. Remember, don't try not to completely use up a tree. If you can help it, try not to completely use it up. Because when you combine it, you know, if there's 10 points left on this one and 10 points left on that one, well, it doesn't come out to 20. It comes out to 25 or 27. You know, 10 and 10 is normally 20, but in this game you actually get a, a decent benefit from mixing them together. Okay, we got some empty bottles. 
and we ran out of power. Oh yeah, it made yeah five buckets, and this thing is out of power. We have one more cold water bottle to drink. There we go. Let's drink that now. Keep our temps under control. And grab the other power unit. Get that in there. That'll I click this so it'll empty it into our bottles for us. Um, the bottles don't stack once they have water in them. So we pull them out one at a time. Yeah, all that red you see, that's because we're suffering from apparent heat stroke. It's not that warm, but without having large amounts of liquids, we start suffering. Get this pack. Yeah, because that was 10 right there it already took out of it. We'll get this pack filled back up, our camel pack. Try not to overfill it, of course. 28, and each of these are worth 25, so 25, 28, 30 will make like 80, okay, 78. Now, 78, 77, 76. It's because, if you see, we're below 99% or 98%. So it tick, 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 tick. It's using that water that fast. So it's below 75, so we can fit this last one in there. Um, let's throw enough to make two more. We don't want to... Uh, we don't want to run out of power and not be able to put... have enough power to put water in the bottles. It takes power for both ways. Oh, uh, time to start thinking about food. We're running out of food. It gets us back up for now. Yeah, we can grab that bone meal. Grab that. Oh, fell down. Waste of energy. What do we want to do? Oh, right, we gotta, yeah, we gotta make our better. So we're gonna go out and play because the sun's still out. And by play, I mean get annoyed that the bone meal's not working. Alright, grab those two stone blocks. Just a piece of stone for the floor, one to step up. Look at that. Oh, nice, nice. We got a piece of glass on us still? No? No, I guess we're all still... We're good. So then we can walk over this way without jumping. I love how fast these shears are. I don't joke around. They're like, nope, you wanted me to shear that? No problem. Done. Gone. Oh no, we hit that marker. Okay, so, so I promise I won't do any more work without recording. It's getting dark. We go inside, we block it in. We don't go out again until the sun comes up. Okay, so so thank you for watching. Enjoy, like, and and comments. Put put whatever comments you want in there. It, it really helps me out. I, You know, I'm just really doing this for the fun of it. It's just, this is fun. I have fun. I'm going to do this thing. It's kind of neat, and, you know. And I'm playing the game anyway. And why not share the fun with, with you, you know. Just you and me, playing along. I like it. Hope you like it too. So all I'll do is I'll, I'll sit here and I'll sift this. Really? That's all this Oh, we have plenty of dust. Ooh, look at that. We're, well, yeah, we're going to have lots of fun. Let me, let me go ahead and end this episode. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> They're coming for us. Uh, 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 I'm logging off now. Okay. And so we'll be back later with another episode. Time to go get some lunch. Take a little break. Pause the video. Well, you don't have to pause because just don't start the next video until after you go get your bite to eat, stretch your legs, 
and we'll be back. Bye-bye.